we take the corner. We're sending the ball into the box. Oh, and it was a good header, but a good save. And to see the golden boy. Who's that, Mr. Ross? Mr. Ross. Why are we up this early? Mr. Ross. Why are we up this early? Sunday league, It's way too cold. This is the right, man. The seasons are changing. I'm not happy about it. Someone needs to talk to the league, man. This ain't right. I'm serious. Set it back until it gets warm. Postpone the season until the summer, yeah? Serious, I got all my layers. Everything. Alright, let me just zoom in on the trainers. Let me just zoom in on the trainers. Alright, let me just zoom in on the trainers. Oh, look at them bad, look at them trainers, man. Come on, come watch today. Well, I'm here, shades, short sleeves, tracky bottoms, because I don't feel the cold. No. 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 I don't feel cold. Garish, bro, two games, two clean sheets. How are you feeling about today, J? Next one today, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, bro. It's cold, so yeah. yeah. We're keeping your hands warm somehow. It's finished now, then. <laughs> gang, shade gang, shade gang, shade gang, shade gang. gang. Shade gang. <laughs> Alright, come in. Shade gang. Shade gang. Shade gang. Shade gang. Shade gang. Right here, you got to have your vision, you know, and on the pitch. <laughs> so, I mean, you can see what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Chilly out here. Kenley, on time, G. On time. Bro. On time. You must be serious if you're on time today. Yeah, goal coming today. Goals. How many you got? You got give us a. Everyone's predicted. How many you got today? Two. Two goals. Any assists, or are you just being selfish? Two goals, two assists. Two goals and two assists. Love that. <laughs> Can we just deep? That these two look like they're about to go on a polar exposition. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm here in shorts, and you're out like you're about to go into the Antarctic. <laughs> fam. It's not that cold. <laughs> How many layers you got on? How many layers? <laughs> two. Three. Yeah. Then I got the vest. Four. One's got four layers. Cook. BJ, you ready for today? You you ready? You alive now, yeah? You alive, G? What do I do? I do nothing. What do I do for this club? Nothing. <laughs> What time do you call this, G? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> hey, what time do you call this, fam? Turn up when you want, Captain. <laughs> he turns up where he wants. It's Jamari, and he turns up when he wants. Go on, run into the camera, come on. Apologise, lad. Nah, from me. I'll see you last night. You don't get down fast. And you can't see how the first Yeah, so just shoot. I was in the team yesterday doing a little cycling session. I'm cutting. Yeah, 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 I'm cutting.
part four made up of Mons, Adam, Hajj and Kai. A midfield three with TJ pushing in the deep lion role. And then in front he has Rago and JD. And the front three is going to be Ken, Downerman and Chad. On the bench we have Aaron, Reese, and Shams. Okay guys, and we're back with episode three. Bristol Academia versus Bristol Jaguars. Now, can the boys replicate the same performances as last two games? Well, at the moment, at the top of the table, can we stay there? Let's get into it. So, we have got Monts onto the ball, heads it into JD. JD sends it over to Ken. Ken's driving with the ball. Can he slip in JD? No, he loses the ball, but he fights back for possession. Jaguars are on the ball now. Then number 10 looking for a pass to their number 8. Their number 8 sends it to the right back. He gets a poor clearance. JD pounces on. Chad's onto the ball. Ricochets. Still on the ball. Takes a strike. And his early signs. His early signs of danger. His early signs, which is positive. So, Jaguars goal kick out. They've still got to the ball. They're in the middle of the park. Sends it to their number 11. Their number 11 tries to slide in their forward. Hajj, comfortable. Sends it back to Kai. Kai Reese. A ball out, which was a bit dodgy. Sends it to their player. And they take a strike. So, TJ, can you shore it up? Yes, you can with a lovely through ball to Liam. Liam gets it across goal, but no one's there fighting. Jaguars, comfy. They bring it out. But their player gives a little bit of a shin and tonic. Liam on the ball again. Sends another ball in. It's dangerous, but no one's attacking. And again, Jaguars get it clear. Thumbs is on the ball now. Slides it out to TJ. TJ is driving into the centre of the park. Goes through their players quite comfortably. Slides out to JD. JD sends a ball in, which is a very good ball. Is Chad going to keep it alive? Yes, he can. What can he conjure up? It's a good cross in. Liam's onto the ball. It's out to JD. JD cuts back. Gives him a little ankle breaker, but he couldn't get on target. That was a deflection, so the corner's in. And 1 0. And that is good poacher play by Liam. That is a forward who knows how to score. <laughs> he's just jogging off like it's another day in the office for him so Monster's on the ball he's got a lot of field by the way this ground is a beautiful ground and it's a huge pitch as well Jaguars on the ball oh JT gets a little Megs gets a little Megs Rago's on the ball sends a delicious little ball out to the right Kai's on the ball sends a ball in goes a bit wayward JD, first time touchdown, takes a strike. And their keeper just gobbles it up. TJ on the free kick now, tries to slide through Rago. JD takes another strike. Just goes missing. It just goes missing. So, at the moment, the game's still quite scrappy. It's not been a really... up there performance, really. But TJ goes with the ball. He's looking up for an opening again. He slides in. Ken, Ken, can you? Ah, he scuffs it and the keeper just collects it. Looks for an opening now. Mons is looking for a pass, which he finds in Rago. Rago gets a little meg. Oh, JD. That's a second meg in the game. Oh. So, Kai gets the ball. Sends it to Kai. Kai to TJ. Let's see what movements we can do with this. Oh, he sends their number 11 to the candy shop. Number 11's on it now. Slides into their number 10. Their number 10 to their 11. What can their player do? Oh, good ball over to their number 7. What can he do? Takes a strike. And it just goes missing. So there is signs that they can get into the game. So the boys need to wake up now. They need to wake up early. Jaguar sends a ball over as a clearance. And number seven takes it down well. Gives the ball away. Kai's on the ball to Reese. Reese 
<laughs> Ooh. <laughs> he got taken down there. By a good challenge though. TJ on the ball. Drifts into the space with JD. JD. Short pass to Rago, but Rago gets it. Hey, can you? Oh, a good little save from the keeper, but the ball is still in play. Kai sends the ball in to Rago. Rago, one little step, takes a strike. Again, keeper's got it. They send it out to their right, which is their number 10. Oh, 10's got a little bit in his box. Sends it to their number nine. He sends the ball over, but that's the Dom's chest. Hajj just slides it over to the right-hand side. Kai, he's driving, sends a lovely ball to JD. Can he take it in his stride? Yes, he can, but can he shoot? That was a good save by their keeper. I must admit that was a good save. To be honest, really... We're getting our chances, but we're really just not taking them. Just not taking them. Hadj out to Mons. Again, he always has time over that left-hand side. Sham gets himself out of a little bit of a predicament. What can he do with this? He can send that into Rago. Rago looking forward, driving forward. Sends it to JD a little bit far, but can JD do anything? Oh, he tries the ball roll, but he's onto the ball. I tell you what, though, yeah. He made sure he bagged today. Because that salsa comment was in his head. It was in his head. But he came through today with the one goal so far. Can he get another? Sham and TJ giving a little one-two to each other. Then Sham sends it out to Monts. Monts thinking of what the pass to make, which he makes in JD. JD sends it back to Monts. Again, Jaguars ain't really pressuring us. We're just bopping the ball about. TJ sends it into JD. JD takes a left foot strike. And it goes out for a corner. Monts feeds it through to JD, but no one got it. But Liam's still onto it. He's still onto it. Gets a little tangle with the feet. Still managed to hold on to it. So, Ken, you're on the ball. Takes a little step over. Whoopsie. Go. Let's go. Can you send the ball in? Takes him on again. Lovely to the byline. Can you take a finish? And Reese. Cool finish. But let's see. Is he going to wipe the head? Is he really going to wipe the head? Oh, there it is. The waves. We was waiting for the wave celebration. And he's done it for us. He's done it. He's done it. <laughs> so it's 3 0 to us. And to be honest, the performance hasn't been that great from us. The performance really hasn't been to the standard that we expect of us so far. So it's 3 0 to us. And to be honest, the performance hasn't been that great from us. The performance really hasn't been to the standard that we expect of us so far. Jaguars has gone through, though. They've taken a strike, but it doesn't trouble Kyrie. So, Kai, a nice roll into TJ. He's just got acres of space again. Sends it out to Reese. Reese sends it back to TJ. TJ, he's going to start driving now. He's going to open those legs. Sends a lovely ball into Liam. Liam, what can you do now? Ah, straight at the keeper, so he's not going to trouble him really. He sends it over for a corner there. So, it just looks a little lackluster at the moment. Ah. Uh, I mean, it's just a slow tempo game. So, Reese is with our corner now. Can he send a better one in? Yes, he can. And that's on the head of Doms. And the keeper knocks it out for a corner. That's a good header by Doms. He is a threat in the box. So, Hajj, I don't know what happened there. Why he's running for the corner so. But he's taking it. He gets onto the ball. Sends a floaty ball in, but their defenders clear it to TJ. TJ takes it down. He's looking for an option. Can he get one? He takes a left footed strike, but again, we're not troubling the keeper. But on that note, we get to half time. Let's see what the gaffer's got to say. Let's see what the coach has got to say. Very, very comfortable. 
I just the only issue I have is because we're playing comfortably, we're getting into the final third and taking that one extra touch. That one extra touch is making us lose that chance of getting into goal. We've just had one at the end of the second uh, first half. TJ took two touches around the centre back. Liam mm -hmm. took a touch and took a shot on goal. <laughs> it's that easy for us. And if we do that repetitively, we will be getting goals consistently. It's very, very easy for us. So our new formation will be Mont on the left, Had um, adds in the middle, Hadj on the left hand side. Right, three at the right, back. Right, yeah. right hand side. Right hand side, sorry. Three at the back. In hot, I'm just in front of them, Sham and TJ. Hot, get the ball, pop it. You guys will control the tempo of the team. If the ball moves slowly, we're not moving it slowly through the first and second thread. The fence you're playing absolutely amazing. You're getting it out and playing it beautiful. Midfield, same again. Final thread, get that ball, move it a lot quicker. Have a look at the formation. This is what we'll be going out to in the second. Hey, lads, as well, yeah. We need, we need man them breaking their necks to, to get in the ball. Goalkeeper, go keep it. That's it. No, 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 no wait. Did you get that on camera? <laughs> you no, just no, asked mean, who is no, number shit, one on us, the under team. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Number one, yeah? Okay. You have the team. I bet seven, bro. Okay, the second half. Can the boys come out a bit better than the first? So, Hajj comes in with a strong tackle. Comes out to the wing, gives it to Ken. Ken sends a crossing, but it ricochets, comes back to him, sends it to Hajj. Hajj, second time of asking, can you? Yes. Oh, but JD couldn't catch on to it. Now it's Jaguars onto the ball. They're looking for an option. They found one. Into their number 10, their number 9. Yes, he sends it back to their left back. Their left back. Again, they've got a little bit of possession there. But Hajj breaks it up once more. And looking for a cross, which he delivers to Rago. Rago, can he tuck it away? Again, the keeper stands firm. They go to the number 12. He sends it through. The left back still with the ball. Sends a dink over to their player. And their player has absolutely done Hadge there. Hadge has looked to the high heavens. Their number 9 slides through their number 7. He sends the ball back, but Doms is there to clear up. They're still on the ball, but they send the ball in, and Kyrie comes and commands it. Here's the replay, and oh my lord. Look, you can see a man's soul literally leaving his body. Look, look, look. Oh, Hadj, the group chat, I'm not going to lie, he was on flames in the group chat that night. A whole heap of corn he was having. But, Look at this touch from the number nine. That was absolutely sublime. So the number 10 is in the middle of the park. Gets dispossessed by a T a JD. TJ's on the ball now. Back to JD. Sends a dink through. Rago. Cuts in. Can you? Ah, he knows he should be scoring there. He knows. He knows. Okay, so Shams on the free kick sends it out to Hajj. Hajj takes it out of his feet, whips the ball in, but JD could not convert. Yeah, he's having a little mare today. He knows he should have had like two or three by now. So Jaguars is clearing out. Shams reads it, which he gives a lovely weighted header down to TJ. TJ is on the drive. He sees Rago on the ball. Rago takes a little step over Loses control. Tries to win it back. TJ is on the ball once again. He sees a pass now to Rago. Rago tries to hold it up. But Ken's onto the ball. Ken takes a strike. And it's the bottom left corner. He said he was getting a goal today. Then number 10. 
sends it back to their left back left back back to the center which comes in of their number 11 back to their left back now their left back's looking to go long which he does he finds their number nine and he takes a first time strike he troubles Kyrie's and Kyrie's parries it out for their corner so is their corner now they take a nice thinking corner in misses their players Kai a little bit of a toggle but Hajj comes across to clear up sees the simple pass on which is in the form of Reese. Reese, oh god two bobbly touches there has a little fight but Kai sent it into Ken and now this people is never ever an offside their linesman was doing the most I don't understand why you have to cheat you're losing four you do not need to cheat have a look at this look how clear Ken was on site. He was at least a person on site. How could he be off site? We know we're going to get this, but that's just ridiculous. Anyway, we move. Ken takes a corner. Hadj takes a little flick on. Jaguars. Clear. But we're back onto the ball. TJ. TJ still on the ball. Hadj. Sends K busy in, sends the ball in, and Liam in with the goal. But again, again, their lines when they say we're offside. How can you be offside if you, as the goal scorer in this instance, as you can see, Liam starts behind Ken? How? It's becoming a joke. It's becoming an absolute joke and you can see all the boys very frustrated there. And to be honest, me and the coach Liam, we were both just very frustrated on the sideline because it's just becoming cheating now. But, okay then, so it's from their keeper, they take a throw to their centre mid. But he takes a miscontrol back to Dom's. Dom sends it through to TJ. TJ's onto the ball. Sends a one to with Ken. He goes through. Tries a cheeky little toe poke. But kicks the air of frustration because he knows that should have been slotted bottom right. Keeper takes a long kick out from the goal kick. Can he win the header? No. Dom's wins his aerial battles for fun. Ken sends JD in. JD. What can he do? He's looking up. He's finishing and Aaron's there. Aaron is there with the finish. That's the second of the game for him. And he is loving life right now. He's loving life. No salsa dancing this week. Just clinical finishing. Kai on the ball, driving into the space. He sees the run of A again. A. Takes a strike, keeper, back to JD, cuts on his left, and they manage to get it clear. They manage to get it clear for a corner. So guys, this episode is going to end 5-0. We had a couple controversial decisions, which frustrated us, but we move. There's no game this weekend, but there will be the following weekend. If you like this episode, please like, share, click the bell, but also comment who and how many nutmegs you've seen throughout the game. Love. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you, you put too much pressure on me still. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, you know, early morning done? It's poor performance for me, I can't lie. I want to be one of the best. So, here what? Golden Boy, he still is. He's going away to you. Yeah. But he's coming back and giving you a performance. Right. Be back on the screens real soon. There you go. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, no. hey, Reese, what happened? Hey, give, a, give us a little demonstration. What are you saying about? I can't say much because I gotta make this. Ah, wait. Was it? Just give me the. Yo, I am. I am. I'm at the <laughs> You turn up late. Ask him what time you turn up. Time you turn up. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> 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 <laughs>